Hi, Stronger Seniors and Pringle Burnell here with you today. We are going to be doing a very quick standing hips exercise. So you can stand, you can hold on to a chair, you can hold on to the wall, or you can have both nearby in case you want to try it without. And you can also do this with your kitchen counter. I find that's really a great height for people to keep their shoulders relaxed and to lightly hold on to it. So your kitchen counter is now your ballet bar, okay? <laughs> and we're gonna get started. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, share this video or like it if you like it. Thanks. Here we go. Warming up a little bit. We're gonna just slide into a little squat. So we wanna dip down and then stand up. I'll show you a little three quarters. So hinging the tail back and up. So if you come down and you feel some load on those knees, you're gonna wanna just make sure that you're backing up and keeping the weight back in your heels, right? So you can kind of test it and lift your toes a little bit, okay? Little mini squat. If I go further, I'm fine for a little bit, but I do feel the load on the knees, so I wanna get them used to that. And I wanna make sure I'm going down with my weight back chest lifted okay you can reach forward and kind of counterbalance your squats we've got one more all right so now we're just going to roll up through the feet warming up the ankles so before we get into the hips we want to make sure the entire leg is warmed up so we're just walking 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 i'm doing a nice little roll through my foot and the tennis shoe is uh, bending a little bit. So make sure, if you can, um, that your shoe goes with your foot a little bit, right? So it bends and flexes. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started since this is a great um, short workout right to the point. <laughs> so I'm gonna come close to my uh, stability chair or the countertop, and I have this leg that I'm going to lift out to the side out so I'm just pointing my legs sideways so notice here if you're keeping your hip bones level okay if you tend to hike this one you're gonna be a little bit off balance so if you stay level here through the tops of your pelvis you're gonna be working that standing leg a little bit more three two one, okay, shake it out, you can walk it. So we would move the, the chair or turn around however you wanna do it to work with the other leg, okay? So I'm gonna just sweep this around. And keeping hips level, tap, tap. I'm going as far out as I can and still be able to touch that floor, checking to make sure I'm staying level here. So if you had a counter in front of you, you could do it really nicely and keep yourself level here. But I'm taking that away, the chair, not moving it in front of me so that you can see. Two and one. Good, let's walk it out. And when you walk, let the hips shift the weight. Shift, shift, right? Shift, shift, shift. Remember that old dance, the pony? kind of what we're doing here. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and step back now. So I wanna make sure I have enough room behind me. Your chair or your kitchen counter is here in front of you. You're gonna reach back, back. So the first exercise here is just, we are touching the floor and reaching back. Again, be aware of the pelvis here and keep it level. Five more. One, two, tap back, three. If you've been sitting for a long time, you may feel that um, stretch in the front of the leg already, right? Other leg tapping back. So you'll notice that I can go straight back, but I have kind of a, only a certain amount that I can go back without, you know, releasing my low back but if I angle it out a little bit here just 
a little diagonal, I have more hip extension. So welcome to do that. All right, let's walk it out. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to do, I'm going to start on our first side again. I'm going to lift this knee up and then out to the side. Okay, so we are working on balance here. Up, out. Pull it up, pull it out to the side. So you want to go through a pain-free range of motion with this exercise. Okay, because we are working the hip flexor. All right. <laughs> up, out. Three more. Two more. Woo. And one. Good. And then shake it out by doing that little walk. All right. So, other side. Pull that knee up. I want you to really think of also pulling in the lower belly a little bit, holding it tight. And lift. Keeping level in the hips. Here's my little kitchen counter. If I'm doing that, giving myself space to lift the knee or hold the wall. Two. Wow, we're almost done with this set already. And here, here. So we want them to be strong and also flexible, right? So walk it out. Yes. All right. We are gonna go back into that first exercise and we're gonna brush that leg long. So stand close, right? And not keeping it on the floor this time, lifting it up. Now here's where it's very easy to get into a hip hiking situation where you're tilting. But, and sometimes we do that in our, our exercises, right? We wanna work the obliques, but right here, we want to concentrate on the hips. So this is a little abduction. We can add some arms with it to just have a little fun. Good. Who's feeling this on their standing hip? <laughs> Maybe, right? Four, three, two, stay level, and one, okay. Walk it out, slow or fast, your choice. Let's go to the other side. First, just the leg. Brush, brush. Brush it out like just kicking a little uh, ball out of the way. Great. Okay, and if you want to, you can just do a little dance move with it. It's like a half jack. Feeling it maybe in your standing leg, I hope. Seven. And four more. Let's go. Three. Two. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to show this one sideways because I want you to work the back of the hip. Um, we did a little tap back, but this time we're going to bend the foot up and then lean forward a little bit. And I want you to lift in your belly here and press that heel back. So if you're feeling low back pain or anything on this move, right, you're going to aim a little lower and keep your body higher. And as you develop in being able to hold the hinge in the standing leg, you can pulse that heel up a little bit more. Recruit in the abdominals. All right, that's it. And we're gonna do a flat back stretch for hamstring and glute and low back. All right, now I'm gonna show you this one. This is now the standing hip. Leg is bent. You can try pulsing low. And I'm leaning forward to get a little bit more gravity work, but you can also do it upright. Upright. So only hold this hinge position if 
your low back is fine, right? You can always bring it up. Squeeze the back of the leg. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk back, and I want you to stick your tail out, okay? Stretch. Flat back. Really release it. And let's walk in. We're going to take another flat back stretch, okay? Walk back. You can hold the wall. And you can also do your little walking here in your flat back hinge, right? And get those hamstrings to stretch and then walk back in. And we are done. So work on this um, routine. If kicking to the back really bothers, if you can't keep the support here and you feel some uh, pain or tension in the low back, make sure you bring yourself upright and make that movement lower and just a little smaller. Okay, so adjust it until you can get into that hip hinge and work. All right, thank you for joining me and I will see you next time.